so that means we are hmm. bouncing to the loser side. It should be a round two losers. So I believe the um, loser of this will be, what is it? Um, would that so be it, it's 17th and 13th? Yeah, I think yeah. it's 13th. Mm -hmm. The because loser of this will be 13th place. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I did hear right. It's KJH versus Pew Pew. Oh, this is going to be a great set. And on the screen, right in front of us, as predicted by Apple, we are here. I love his, uh, I love his, like, NBA, his NBA arm sleeve. He's balling for life, man. KJH and I bonded over our love of LeBron James. He's a lovable figure, man. You hearing all the news about where he's heading? I haven't. I know he opted not to renew his contract with the Cavs, but I didn't see anything about a decision. That's pretty much all I know as a cursory basketball fan. All right, so QPU you, repping yeah. NorCal. So it's kind of like Golden State versus the Cavs. Kind, kind of. A little bit. <laughs> so what are, you, what are you kind of expecting out of this match here? I'm expecting Marth versus Fox. I see them warming it up. It's a little bit of a uh, color kill. Blue team versus blue team. On Fountain of Dreams. <laughs> uh, it might be possible that they are warming up here due to the strike. It would not surprise me if that is the reason. Okay. Not, not too many people like to warm up on the stage. The platforms on this stage will randomly move at random times. So it's okay. not determined the height and, and the frequency at which they will go up or down. Really? Yeah, I've had matches where they didn't go down for a minute, and I've had matches where in the first, after 10 seconds, you know, there's a yeah. slight transformation. I actually thought it was scripted. You know, I did too, and then I watched it more and more, and people said it was random, and I'm pretty positive it's random. That's crazy. Yeah. What was really crazy, Apple, is that we both believed it was scripted in, like, a set order, and did we just didn't sit down to confirm it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's a little easier to confirm, right? Like, yeah, yeah, right. It's always this way. But, no, it's not always one way. So, uh, indeed, they are on Fountain. I am a Marth main, so I have a lot of experience watching and playing this matchup. Great edge guard opportunity from well, Beautiful. KJH. Yeah. A little unfortunate that Marth didn't snap to the ledge from the shine, but mm -hmm. you really have to take advantage of that as Fox. Nice re-grab. Pupes playing that platform good. Oh, he actually gets clipped by the uh, get-up attack since the platform was so low. Yeah, a lot of awkward pr interactions can happen, especially with get-up attacks or attacks just above the platform. Mm -hmm. Well, on this stage, you can actually get the up-tilt wobble. You can have, like, Nana do an up-tilt and wobble with that. Yeah, with one of the platforms low. Yeah. Oh, oh. nice positioning. And he there you go. But KJH just looking solid. Yeah, he's just a little bit crisper, a little bit faster on those edges. And it really matters mm -hmm. when there's only a select amount of choices Marth can do. And Ooh. he picks up his recovery. Nice air dodge. He would have been dead otherwise. We got a nice edge guard sequence coming out from Pew Pew U. Keeping it simple with that fair. Fox Invincibility finds a shine. Great engagement from KJH. Yeah, and he's actually shined Kevin off the stage. And oh, my goodness. He just keeps hitting him. He, KJH has gotten three kills on the edge against Marth, and he is just taking really big advantage of Marth's weakness there. A finite amount of recovery. And he's got him pushed up against the edge again, but he's not going to get up in time. No opportunity for yep. him to take advantage of that. And now it's PPU with the pressure on the edge. KJH looking pretty strong. He gets out of this corner. Up tilts beneath that platform. Oh, and just barely blocks that F smash. Pew Pew missing his opportunity. Good shine stall. Yeah, and really great positioning. It's hard to edge guard that. Just he instantly. I actually can't believe he got that spot dodge out in time. Yeah, it, it's a great choice against grab and most of Mart's attacks. They're pretty inactive for the most part. Pew Pew fighting so hard to take out this stock and the Martha Ritus is real. You get Fox to a certain percent, the kill moves are just a little bit more difficult to initiate. This man just approached with aerial spot dodge. Pew Pew still in it one more time and this running run down up, tilt. Run up down tilt, dude. Yeah, that ain't Falco. Mission's complete. Fox wins game one. And I did not quite expect that coming 
you know, when we saw them sit down. Oh, yeah. Just I, three stock dominance on the edge. Absolutely. PPU. So what do you want to see? Uh, what do you want to see PPU clean up on this game? I certainly want to see those recoveries change and the engagements on the edge guards a little different. I've played KJH a couple times, and I know he's really good here. He's been labbing it out and studying. So avoid this as much as you can, if possible. And of course, he's picking FD to maximize his combo damage. And just look at that. KJH surgically finds that kill. Oh, it only took 20% in the process. This is looking completely dominant from KJH. Yeah. Finding those kill setups with Fox is such an important skill. But no jump. Oh, just barely missing this F smash yeah. opportunity. Yeah, Pew Pew had the opportunity there to even the game back up, but now KJ is going to find his way in, get a conversion here. Yep, this soft up air is going to try for another opening. Ooh. And it was a nice snare. I love that combo. Full stage F smash. Retreating fair is going to cut some of your approaches. KJH, though, crouching through it, finding it, almost getting an edge guard out there. Quick F smash. Seems like PPU is not too confident in his combo game right now. And as I say that, he's he just, finds one. I mean, he's making it work. What he's a great timed F smash. PPU taking the lead now. KJH backing off after invincibility. It's looking scary. Man, he has such confidence coming off the edge. Dash attack, up smash, even with good yeah. DI. It's so hard to avoid. Yeah, my goodness. What a fast match. KJ's looking very strong. Approaching with so many high success moves. Ooh. Big attacks. Fox oh, makes wow. it back on. NTSC. That's like that uh, Fox privilege stuff that KJH makes the videos about. He's just like extended his up B somehow. <laughs> it, no, it's crazy. He actually, uh, he has a video where he talks about that specific angle too. That's nuts. He almost Ooh. makes it back there. Pew Pew up one stock. Almost finding this SDI against the up B. Look, he even takes that down tilt, trying to find it. We have a chain throw. Shine helps him escape though. Jab Nair is going to open up this edge guard opportunity. And really great form from KGH. Crisp. Yep, once he's that low, he has to make that decision. Give him that Marth killer. Small chain grab coming out from PPU. We got a four piece into an edge guard. And that's the sequence. Well played by PPU. PPU putting himself back in it. Yeah, there are a couple times where the fundamentals really just came back in. A couple F smashes into a fast edge guard. He did pick up his combo game with the grabs in the middle. And he didn't fall prey to what KGH was really doing game one, which is amazing edge play. Exactly. He controlled the center of the stage well. PPU changing that song. What's PPU's music taste like? I don't know if I've ever talked to him about music. You know, I bet it's uh, hip hop. I'd guess so. I feel like that's just the dominant music in uh, fighting games, right? I think or are so. we just being biased? Or I'm probably just biased. Yeah, right. We only think it, people listen to what we listen to. Yeah, it's probably like anime music or something. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. We got Dreamland coming up. Fox is going to prefer the stage just because the platforms are a little harder for Mark to maneuver on. And right there, that is a Again. difficult one to engage with. Mm -hmm. That shine is going to get that first stock. Well, these clean punishes from KJH. Yeah, he's managed to get that damage, and our capture card is taking some damage too right now. Ooh, Up B, tech let's chase. Go. The I DI is still acceptable. KJ is back in there. Oh, low recovery, not getting that tech. PPU actually waiting until he's above the ledge to get that F smash off. KGH, low percent, and he's going to just tack on him more. 
really beautiful it's sequence. No fear of trades whatsoever. He just goes in on it. Yeah, he started it from the right side and just kicked Marth all the way off stage. Stock lead for KGH. Just trading moves in the center of the stage here. Yeah, I really like how PPU is playing this neutral. Pretty, pretty much hard reading the positioning and speed of KGH's approaches. Barely missing his punish. Oh, and KGH, that's what you don't want. You let KGH go, he's so squirrely, he's going to just damage you. Oh. Did he really just try that? I, I, yeah, he did. He went out. He tried it. <laughs> he crouch canceled the get up attack, and he gave him the big up smash. Fox's oh. moveset, man. So yeah, good. He waited out the invincibility, and immediately, as soon as the invincibility was gone, he landed a shine. Shorten onto the platform with the Omsa text. KGH is on another level right now. Cross up, up air shine. Was a, yeah, that falling up air was actually a great way to start that engagement. KGH is going nuts. It's insane. He gets that shine, and Marth has such a hard time attacking in that position. Every time I do that nair that PPU just tried to do, I get punished. And what it's we crazy. just saw is KGH cooking it up, getting some great combos, and also getting some great edge guards. At least mm -hmm. two stocks with the shine. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a little... Like looks like stage selection incorrection. I guess so. Really great yeah. gameplay from KGH. I don't know who to be biased for. The Midwest KJH or the Marth main that I've you know, looked up to for so long. PP with that deep breath. He is down one game. The set count right. is two to one favor of KJH. All right. Battlefield, let's do it. A uh, great aerial drift by Pew Pew. Exactly. That KJ, KJ oh. still just found his way in. We don't even have enough time to admire it. He's <laughs> shining it away. This is the aggression I'm talking about. If you do not snap to edge, if you're in a position here to lose this mix-up, oh. there, that's a great positioning from Pew Pew. It's a uh, accuracy test, right? Are you yeah. pinpoint accurate the way I am, says KJH. Big dash dances. And he just jabs the approach. KJH is so fast. He's been getting so many kills. If a kill hasn't been on the edge guard, it's been uh, he just runs up and jabs or down tilts or fi just forces an opening to happen. Yeah, really impressive approaches from KJH right there. We just saw him, though, get Ken comboed from PPU. Nice response. PPU trying to get this opening. And just the way that KJH can counterattack in between combos. He'll get a shine or dash away. And look at this conversion. He doesn't stop, man. This man oh. doesn't stop. Oh my god. Yeah, low percent F throw causes Mart to die. He's just so fast. The pressure is not over. You're never safe. <laughs> nice damage, and he's threatening that shine all the time. Pew pew. This could be his winner stock, or his tournament stock. Yeah. Nice fair read on the recovery. Beautiful back air, but he gets stage spiked. Not high enough percent to die. Nice steal. Just grab KGH. the ledge. But he PPU is sitting at 89%. He's in danger. Invincible grab for Fox, but no follow-up. Yeah, that up air would have killed him. This nice nair is going to set up that edge guard opportunity. KJH a little reserved right now. He might lose a stock for this. Great defense oh. coming out. He's right above his head, just skimmed him. Yeah, I like I like the reposition back on stage. Mm -hmm. Try not to fight that corner. PPU has the momentum there. Same thing with PPU. Don't try to adventure a little too far into Fox's paws. Oh, a little courageous on the jump. He has no jump left. Marth Killer. Oh. A 3-1 victory for KJH. Not what a lot of people would have expected. <laughs> All right, All right. Oh. stream at home. We're going to take a small break to fix some technical difficulties. Oh. This is the time to take a quick bathroom break, grab some snacks, and tell your friends to come back. Get some Jabali's fried chicken.